So here we have the new assistant. <laughs> And this is a 100% wool blanket? Yeah, it's a tag says Pendleton 100% virgin wool, pure virgin wool. There we go. Alright, so this is for all of you who wanted to know how a wool blanket did and over time. So we're going to do a little bit of time lapse and yeah. I need to take a nap. <laughs> I'm going to move this over and see if we can catch that. In frame? I'm not sure if it can. Can you? Uh, no. The idea is we just want to see over time how it does. Yeah, I got the, the clock in there. All right. And aim a little bit more down to catch more of the wool. All right. We're good. You can go ahead and get cozy. Because what is it? People think that it just keeps them running up or something? Yeah, so that's the, the issue. Is a, a lot of people are under the belief that it just keeps warming up. Um, that there's, the longer it's worn, the hotter it gets. And I don't think that's the case. Uh, and I think you definitely get to a warming up point. And it stops. Yeah, and I think that happens within about two minutes. It's, so it's we're going to test warm. to see. Yeah, I'm just going to do a little bit of time lapse and see how long it takes to get to that heat up point. And then over time, just kind of show that it stays there. So that's, that's the idea. Okay. Good night. All right. <laughs> Good night. <laughs> Good night, you two people. <laughs> <laughs> you still doing okay? Oh yeah. Still recording. Thank you. Looks like I can get the thermals. That has a neat effect. That's yeah, a really, really cool effect. was kind of like the umbrella material. Mm -hmm. I think you've seen my umbrella video. Um, it worked really well as a, a block, but... But did it work well because it was shaped like an umbrella? How was it material? That's the thing. It's, the umbrella material failed in direct contact, but it worked as like a, a drop, a mask, mm -hmm. um, a hide. This material, this poncho material, is a lot like that. It might make a good print. Yeah. It absolutely would. Um, I'm curious how long it would take for this material, I mean, with a, a wool blanket under it, to heat up. I don't 
comfy, but I'm very comfy. <laughs> no, don't move. It's okay. I got this. <laughs> it's also very cold in this room, so as many layers as you want to put on. Yeah, comfy. sorry about that. <laughs> And on camera there real quick. Let's see Arcturus Real Tree Edge. So that's the poncho that's currently there. It's interesting the the heat where my arms were in contact with the blanket <laughs> is showing. Oh, really? Yeah. Still. Over there. <laughs> but, uh, That's impressive. Yeah. <laughs> Although this room really is cold. What the heck? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> Did the outside temperature have any effect on that? Uh, yes. Um, so the the closer any temperature is to ambient, the the less the cameras pick it up and the more rapidly it goes to equilibrium. The colder the ambient temperature is, um, the longer heat signature seems to last because it takes that much longer for the yeah. residual heat to approach ambient. <laughs> it's probably still there though. <laughs> it is. It, it, it's so cold. Yeah, where I, where I leaned on my elbows right there, it's still showing <laughs> like I'm still leaning on it. <laughs> and now the poncho is starting to heat up. There we go. I uh, can definitely see your core. A little bit of an outline. What it reminds me of is a there was a video of a, an Apache helicopter with two U.S. soldiers on the ground, and one was underneath a tarp, um, and the other was underneath a like a space blanket type mm -hmm. material. Um, and what the Apache could see of the two soldiers is about what this is showing. It's about that level of signature. You can basically see the heat right here. You can see the heat right here. So if I held up like a certain number of fingers, would you be able to tell how many fingers I'm holding up or is it too blobby? Uh, not, not that good. Um, if you held it up against the material for a little bit, it might start to show. How many fingers am I holding up? <laughs> yeah, it's it's too diffuse. I can tell that there's contact, like that spot where you're directly touching, yeah. is really hot. That heat bleed through is very strong. <laughs> no. yeah, I was curious. It's an umbrella-like material. I, I wondered how well it would do in direct contact definitely needs a standoff of some kind. You're probably not going to complain because I'm layering on and you're freezing. <laughs> so we've got a wool blanket, 3D mesh, the old cans. And then the poncho. <laughs> Cold weather offs. <laughs> Oh, the materials aren't that heavy. These are all very lightweight. Oh well, yeah, gauzy. I just mean uh, restriction wise. I mean, you wouldn't be able to do a high kick, that's for sure. <laughs> no ninja yeah. yeah, no ninja battles. <laughs> that's great. <laughs> Go to sleep, maybe I'll not see you. Even that. Fairly quickly on that heat spot over your hips. That's yeah, interesting. Yeah. It's showing it's right here. They got hot hips. Hot hips. Move the poncho. Let's see if that spot's still showing. Ah, that old Kansas is so cool looking. <laughs> Just 
just a neat material. It does do a good job of breaking it up, but you can definitely still see the heat is there. Do you see how many fingers I'm pointing up? Hey, this is a family show. You can't hold that many. <laughs> <laughs> so that's a no. No. <laughs> Show is this? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yes, little one, go crawl in bed and let me record you. <laughs> yeah, it's all. It's all here. But yeah, this is a pretty cold ambient temperature, so. It's freezing in here. <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's fairly cold. Of course, I'm always cold, so that's probably not saying all that much. If I had to guess, I guess it's probably 52, 53 in here. I was going to say 55. There you go. All right. We'll call that good. Thank you. Yeah.